welcome to a brand new studio vlog. It is now Tuesday evening and I'm in my studio. And yes, I have cat hair all over my shirt. That's what happens when your cat is light colored. Yes, Leo, I'm talking about you. Since the lighting is super nice right now in my studio, um, I'm going to take photos of these wall hangings right here that I showed you in my previous studio vlog. They will be added to my shop in two days, um, which I'm so excited. So I need to take photos for my shop. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. just finished taking photos of these little nature wall hanging so Barbara who was the artist I collaborated with who um, sculpted these beautiful <laughs> designs around my wood slice paintings she released her five pieces today in her Etsy and as of um, a few hours ago all but one sold out so that just makes me really excited about these. I really hope that they do well. So by the time this vlog goes out, they will have already been in my shop. I love this one the most. I think just because I love um, mushrooms and especially the fly guard mushroom. I just love so much. And I also really like this Luna Moth. And this glows in the dark. So that's really exciting. I do want to try and see um, if I can take photos of it glowing in the dark. Hey there. So this morning, it's, it's Thursday now, and this morning I started planning out my next painting that is not a butterfly. <laughs> and a fellow subscriber here, Allison, her name's Allison, she bought me this bird book and I received it last week and I'm just astonished. It is massive and I love it so much. <laughs> Thank you, Allison. Um, and so I am so inspired to paint a bird and I decided that maybe I will paint an owl. You might have seen me make a poll in the community tab here. Um, last week, it was last week, like th this week when I'm filming the vlog, but last week when you're watching this vlog, and I asked you about a, my next tutorial that's not a butterfly, and it seems like a lot of you want a barn owl, so I decided that this barn owl will be for the next art challenge. So if you are new here, before the butterfly challenge, we... We did like a monthly art challenge and so I'm thinking of bringing that back after the butterfly challenge so for June I think it'll start. I would like your guys' opinion on the next art challenge so the art ch the um, butterfly art challenge ends the first few days of June so I was wondering if you would like the next art challenge which will be this barn owl or like a barn owl, um, would you like that to start right after and have the whole month of, of June to work on it? Or would you rather have the rest of June to finish the um, butterfly challenge? Because I know a lot of you um, feel, feel like you're behind on it. And then we can have the monthly art challenges resume in July and have the July would be this barn owl. So let me know your thoughts. Um, so here I kind of sketched out my painting and it's going to be somewhat similar to my snowy owl painting. Um, I'll put that here in the video right now so that you can see it in case you don't know what I'm talking about. I got a request to do another owl from the person who bought the snowy owl painting. Um, so I thought that I would paint a barn owl and, and like make it kind of like a similar composition. So this is my sketch and I'm thinking about starting it today, this morning. Um, so that's really exciting. 
And yeah, I just, I love this bird book so much. Oh my goodness. There's like so many birds, so many beautiful birds. I just like want to paint all of them. Seriously. But anyway, I'll, I'll leave the link to this book on Amazon in the description if you wanted to check it out. But it's amazing. Thank you, Allison, so much. And also, I um, drew out the butterfly that is for tomorrow's Friday, weekly Friday live stream. So here's the butterfly. It's the Spotted Jezebel. I think that's, that's what it is. Yeah, it's, it's all ready to go, and so I need to get ready for that live video in the morning. And this is the last butterfly for the live tutorials, at least soon. So I think I'm going to use my Arches, like 8x8 watercolor paper for the owl painting. This is what I've been using for all of the butterfly. I love this size. So, my um, sticker order arrives today. So, in the last vlog, we ordered some new stickers. So, I ordered two brand new sticker designs, and then I reordered my Morpho Butterfly stickers. Those should arrive today, and I'm so excited. So, so, so excited about it. So, of course, when they arrive, I will um, share them with you. Okay, so I have some, gra this is graphite transfer paper. I'm going to transfer my sketch onto my watercolor paper. It's kind of exciting to start a painting that's not a butterfly. <laughs> I love butterflies, but it's just exciting. So something really exciting happened yesterday. We reached 2,000 YouTube subscribers. Isn't that exciting? So I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much um, for your support watching my videos, liking my videos, commenting, it all just means so much to me and um, it really helps uh, more people find my YouTube channel. So thank you so much for your support and just being part of this community. Um, it, I'm just so grateful every day. And I hope you'll continue to enjoy my videos. I make these videos for you. Um, my, my vlogs are for you. They're not for me. My tutorials are for you. My like art tips are for you. It's all for you guys. And, and I put so much work <laughs> into my YouTube channel. So it's just... Reaching milestones like that really um, makes me feel like the work I do for this channel isn't for nothing. Like I'm actually making content that people like and that helps others and other artists. So um, I just want to say thank you. <laughs> And I am almost to 2,000 followers on Instagram. So once we reach 2,000 on Instagram, which is probably really soon, I'm going to be doing a big giveaway um, for my YouTube and Instagram for, reading, for, for reaching 2,000. So um, hopefully that'll happen probably next week.
Let's see what they look like. Um, if you don't know, Sticker Mule makes their own hot sauce. And so because they ordered over a certain amount, I got a free bottle. So these are my Morpho Butterfly stickers, which I already have. Um, and I, I ended up ordering more of them. And here's one of my new stickers. Oh my goodness, I just love him so much. Oh, I'm so happy with these. And here's another one of my newer stickers. Oh, these are so cute. Oh, I love this one too. Let me know in the comments below what sticker is your favorite one, the frog or the snail with mushrooms. I don't know what one is my favorite. I love them both so much. It is now Saturday and yesterday we painted this butterfly live here on YouTube and um, I did mess up a few times <laughs> um, and it didn't really turn out the way I wanted it to but um, it's okay but it was still really fun um, to hang out with you guys live so if you joined thank you so much for hanging out with me um, and if you didn't, I'll link the live video in the description below if you would like to check it out. Yesterday, I also added these two, um, new stickers to my shop. So, yeah, there's that. And a few of you have ordered already, so thank you so much for your support. It means a lot to me. Um, so yeah, I put these in my shop. Um, I, I took photos of them and stuff. That's what I did yesterday after the live. And the, today I want to finish this owl painting here. Um, but I, I don't think I'll finish it today, but I at least want to work more on it today and then maybe finish it tomorrow. So yeah, let's go ahead and work on him a bit more. I forgot to share with you that I put these two new stickers on my new sketchbook here. So I got this sketchbook as a gift from a fellow subscriber. And I, I love it so much. I can't wait to paint in it. And I thought it would be um, really fun to add some of my stickers on, on the sketchbook. What do you guys think? Mm -hmm. 